The next thing, the drilling cycle. Okay, here is another code, the G54. The G54 is an offset. I don't use the offsets, so I've removed them. Also, the uh, spindle speed, which is this S code. Uh, I do not use the spindle speed. Uh, I actually set it manually, so um, I'd remove that line of code as well. And then this line of code here, I also remove the G43, H, the Z1, all of that I remove because again, it does. my machine doesn't understand, it doesn't use it, so I remove it. Uh, the next thing, this operation, uh, I'm going to go ahead and take that out and here's the F90 that my uh, G code was actually the G code generated that line. I'm going to take it out because I have it up here. Uh, it's actually right there. So now I have the drilling cycle. The drilling cycle consists of the first hole, and then it lists the perimeters in which the drill cycle is going to be uh, using to to do the drill cycle. Now, the R5 or 0.5 that is the retract so that will bring the bit up to, to clear whenever it moves. Also the Q, I'm going to change this number to 1.5. Now the reason I change this number is because I don't need to do a pecking cycle I just need to go down and come back up and do it in one move. So now it's going, to, it knows how, where to drill because of this line. It knows how to drill because of this line and then it goes to the next hole. Remember I wanted to drill two holes and then I wanted to move the machine. So here's how I'm going to move the machine. I'm going to take the G80 which actually completes the drilling cycle uh, and I'm going to put it right here and then I'm going to drop down and put again G00 which simply tells the machine to run as fast as it can um, safely and then I'm going to put in Z1 and then I'm going to figure out how far over do I want to move the uh, machine while I put the screws in the holes. And I know the machine is at 44 or the holes are at 44 and 46 so I'm guessing 10 inches would be fine. So if I put 34, let's go ahead and just put 35. So I'm going to tell it to move X to 35 and then I'm going to, to have it stop and MOO does that and now I'm going to put a, a little message in here um, to insert screws and that message will actually come up on the screen and you'll see that in a moment uh, now I have the X35 now 35 is the same as 35.000 uh, it's also the same as 35 point and you can do it any any way you want but I like to keep things simple so I'm just going to put in X35 and you can use a, leave a space you can take out a space you can see sometimes the space is in there uh, sometimes there is no space doesn't matter uh, alright so now we we've, we've we've done the drill cycle the first one and I'm going to copy this because we're going to be using this same drill cycle down here where we have to continue the drilling operation so I'm going to take all of this line of code from here this remember the T2 is a tool change we don't do tool changes so I do them manually so I don't need that code all of this other code I do not need so I'm going to cop or actually I'm going to paste over that and put in the ending of the drill cycle as well as stopping of the machine at 35 at x35 so now with that, let's see what we have. We have the drill cycle. I have to come up here and get the drill cycle because whenever I stopped it with this G80, I have to pick it up again. So two things I have to do, and this is very important. First, I have to put the drill cycle back in here so that it'll know where to go after it goes to the next hole. The other thing that I have to do is notice this line of code right here. Uh, X46. This line does not have a Y uh, uh, line. So therefore we want to make sure we know where the Y line is and the Y line is actually the line previous. So I'm going to copy it from the line above and I'm going to put it down here. 
and this is just in case you you were to move the code to another location if you don't take the the Y code then you wind up not having the Y code for that particular line so it could be a bit confusing it's best that every line have an X and a Y especially if you do a lot of editing so uh, just keep in mind that uh, make sure you have an X and a Y whenever you move a line from one point to another now this would play into account if I were going to change the order in which these holes were drilled but other than that it would be fine uh, now we've completed the drill cycle and we can go ahead and continue with the cutting of the parts from the solid stock so let's see we we've inserted the screws we can go ahead and bring this up again I'm going to clean up the code so I'm taking out the G90 the G54 I'm taking out the spindle I'm taking out all of this code that I do not need now one line that I do need the F15 is the new feed rate and it's because remember we were drilling um, we were running a feed rate of F90 so that means that the machine will run the F90 anytime there is a G01 command then it would run the feed rate that's programmed which in our case would be F90 now I'm going to be changing that F90 to F15 and anytime there is a G01 line then the machine would run at whatever the programmed feed rate is in this case or whatever the last program feed rate is and in this case it's F15 feed rate 15 inches per minute so um, if we look here we can go this would be the first point at which we're going to enter the material and this code here tells the Z to drop down to 0.5 I'm going to tell it to drop down to 0 and what what it's going to do is going to wrap it down to zero and then it's going to pick up the feed rate and go from zero using the GO1 command at a feed rate of 15 inches a minute it'll go down to the bottom of the cut and then start the cut and then once it completes the cut then it's going to go up I want it to go up to the half inch mark or, or Z.5 uh, and I wanted to wrap it there so I'm going to change up this code and say GOO to 0.5 and now it's going to wrap it to the next point at which it's going to, to enter the material again so that would be uh, GOO 45 Y10 and then again I'm going to have it drop down uh, at the rapid feed rate to Z0 which is the top edge of the material and then it will go ahead and plunge down and continue on and make the cut so again I'm going to edit this code I'm going to take and add GOO to here I'm going to take this line out and then I'm going to take this line here and turn it to Z0 and then uh, leave this all alone this is the first cutout and here I'm going to change this to uh, GOO and remove this line and again take this line to Z0 and then uh, take this line here since this is the last line of my code I'm going to remove it I'm going to have the the tool come up to one inch I'm going to remove these two lines of code and then I'm going to put a percent at the bottom because this is going to end the code now the reason that you do the percent real real clear if if I were to end the code right here and save this file with that cursor setting right there then the machine is never going to see that M30 line the machine doesn't see the line that the cursor ends on so therefore if we drop down one that would be just as well or to ensure that we drop down there we can put a percent sign in there and now we know for a fact that we drop down and it wouldn't hurt if we went ahead and dropped down a line below that so that's why we use the percent so we ensure that the machine sees the M30 